Hello and welcome back. Today we are at the house and I wanted to do a little bit of a review on this Dynaglo uh, torpedo heater I got. I know it's a little dark in here, like that's part of the problem right now. It's getting really dark outside soon and starting to get cold and so that's why I want to get this heater back up and going. But you can see here it's a Dynaglo Deluxe Professional Grade. I did a review on it about a year ago and got it all set up and working. And uh, we've got some problems with it now. And so I turned it back on and started it up this year and found it wouldn't start up and it was giving me an error code. And I'll show you what it's doing. I'll kick it on here. I'm gonna be a little careful because I got it all apart. This fan's gonna kick on. I don't wanna get hit by it. Um, but what happens is when I turn it on, it kicked off just like this. It'll spin on here in a second. And then, and then it runs like that for a few seconds here, maybe 30 seconds or so. You can see that it's not lighting up in the front. So it didn't light up and uh, it throws this error code, this E1 error code. And when you look on the side here, it says that, you know, either it's out of gas or it, uh, the filter might be plugged up on it or the igniter might not be working and you just saw the igniter when it was running it was right here that igniter was just you know flashing so the igniter is perfectly fine on it i pulled this out which which is the filter that was fine on it but what i come to find out is the tubing and you can see one of them here these tubings right here they got cracks in them all over this so it's not getting any vacuum and that's really what the problem is and so I went and bought some new tubing to put on it. It's got one tube that goes from here that I've already taken off and goes up to here. And then this other tube goes from there and it snakes all the way back over to, back over to here and hooks up to this spot. I didn't want to pull it out yet because I'm going to have to use it, I think, to snake the other one back through it. But it hooks up onto here. And I believe the way it works is this fan starts running. It pulls the uh, fuel out of there into there to ignite it. So it's basically a, you know, a vacuum system. So this is basically just vacuuming that fuel up into it. I, and I think that's what the problem is. And so I'm gonna, I bought some new fuel line. We're gonna put that on there and see if that fixes the problem. I hope it does. I saw some other videos online that talks about there's a fan in here that's plastic with some metal pieces on it that kind of keeps this thing running. And that plastic piece will get brittle and break apart on me. I already took that apart, looked at it. The fan in there is fine, thankfully. But it's, it's been some things that I found that are not great on this, uh, this system so far. So while though it's a, you know, a fairly good professional product, they say I found some cheap parts on it here that have, have only had it for a year. And I guess leaving it in the pole barn just degraded those uh, fuel lines. So let's change the fuel lines and let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, so you can kind of see it here. Maybe if I, if I squeeze this, you can see these cracks that are in here. That's what the problem is. This tube cracked right on those valves. And then it wasn't getting any vacuum, and so it wasn't sucking up any of the fuel. And so these are the, what I'll call the cheap pieces of fuel line that were in there. I went and bought some different fuel line from the local automotive store. There's a hole right down through here that this tube kind of goes up through is right here so it just kind of comes through there right there and then that connects right on to this piece here to form that vacuum so that's on there tight and good now and then the other piece of it we put down here on the other side where the fuel gets uh, drawn out of the tank so there's the one that goes on there to the tube up here. And then down below, here's the one that goes onto the tank where it gets drawn up. So this will draw the uh, fuel out of there, pull it up through here where it gets close to that igniter. And then we got to replace this second tube here on the back that's going to snake all the way down through here over to hook on this little valve here. And so here is the old hose that's cracked you can see here it's broken off I'm gonna just take the new one and take some black tape and just tape them together 
and I hope that'll be enough to uh, pull them through here. So that's taped up to it now. I'm gonna kind of push through that and kind of push and pull. To see if I can get it to go through. And you can see over here where it came through. I've kind of got it through here now. So, so there's the tube all the way through. That's got to connect up to here. Right here, it's got to connect to that. So I'm pull that one off. You can see this one's got cracks on that too. It's cracked right here. So yeah, it's just these cheap tube bits on here. So I'll hook this tube up to that nozzle there. That will go right onto this valve here. You can see there. Hope you can see it. I know it's dark in here. So that one's on there good and tight. Make sure it's out of the way of this fan, which it is. And then over here, over on this side, is where this white nozzle is right here. And that's where the other end will hook up to. I'm going to just hook up right now with all of my excess tubing just to try it out and make sure this actually is going to solve our problem. So there's my other tube on there. And I've got a lot of excess tube back over here now. We'll, we'll cut that off in a moment, but that should be it. Let's kick it on and see how it goes. So I'm going to plug it back in here. It's plugged in. All the lines are hooked up. We're going to turn it back on and see what we get. Probably going to burn the house down because it's like right there on the wall. Still failing. Well, that's not what I expected. So it's still failing. I wonder if I have these two tubes hooked up backwards. Unplug it and switch those two tubes around and see if that makes a difference. All right, I switched the two tubes around. Let's plug it back in here one more time. Let's hit the switch on it again. Let's try and ignite. <laughs> there we go. We got we got heat and fire. I'm gonna turn it off because I'm pointing like right at the wall. I'm gonna burn the house down, pushing it right there at the wall. But that, uh, as you guys can see, that is the fix. So. If you've got one of these heaters and it's not working for you after sitting for a year, you know, check the fuel lines because it seems to work off of a vacuum system. Luckily, it doesn't take much to take this thing apart and put it back together. It's basically just four screws on this side that are eight millimeters, four on that side. You take those out, this cover comes off. It's got four screws holding this panel in here. You put those four screws back in and so that's the fix for it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and now I'll have a nice warm garage to do some other stuff in it. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, give me some comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you and we'll see you guys next time.